Hello and welcome to Summit Software's video tutorial on updating project templates. This tutorial may be used for VSTA versions 1 or 2. In this tutorial, we will create a template using Project Gen. Then we will update the template, both using Visual Studio and manually, to include a post-build event. The post-build event we will use is the same included in the Shape App sample, add-ins, and templates. This post-build event moves the add-in assembly to a predetermined location, which is then searched by the host application during add-in discovery and loading. The first step in this tutorial is to create a project template. For this, we will use a project template descriptor file, which was created using Project Gen and following the SDK walkthrough on the project template wizard. We create the project template using the project gen wizard. To do that, we bring up a command prompt, change directories to the project gen folder, or if you have an environmental path variable set up with this location, there's no need to change directories. And then we run the wizard. For this tutorial, we will use a pre-made project template descriptor file, which was made with project gen following the SDK walkthrough, creating a project template using the project template wizard. Using a descriptor file pre-populates all of the template text boxes for you. On the first page, these include the template name and description and the default project name for projects based on the template. Also, select the host identifier here. and We select that from a list of hosts that are registered using the VSTA setup command. The second page allows us to specify host items. Most importantly, this is the proxy assembly, which should be registered in the global assembly cache. And then the entry point from that assembly to use for the template. These were specified in the descriptor file and proxy file made with ProxyGen. The host item name shows up for the first time here. We'll talk about that more later. The third screen allows you to specify project properties, such as which executable to run when the add-in is run, any commands to pass from the add-in to the host, and you can select an in-process host here, which must be registered with the host prior to creating the template. We're going to add a reference to System Windows Forms through the template wizard, and you do this by navigating to the assembly. and adding it to the references. The last page allows us to generate the project template and the project template descriptor file and to register the template with the host and with Visual Studio. We're going to use the descriptor file that we base this template on uh, to, to save this template to just overwriting it. This location is where the project template will be generated, and that's pre-populated with the project template's location specified in the registries. And when we click Finish, we will be generating the template. We will be recreating the descriptor file, and we will be registering the template with both VSTA under the host and Visual Studio under the host. This takes several minutes because it runs both the VSTA setup and DEV ENV setup commands. If you want to register a template manually, you simply place it in the project template's location and then run the VSTA and DEV ENV setup commands. Now we're going to go to the template's location, which is where we saved the descriptor file. And then under each language that VSTA supports, C Sharp and Visual Basic, you will see your default language folder which in this case is 1033 for English, and the template that we just created. The second step in this tutorial is to update the template using Visual Studio. To do this, we'll first create a new project in Visual Studio based on the project template, we will update the project, adding the post-build event that's included in the Shape App sample templates. Then we will export the project into a new Visual Studio template. 
We will copy that new template to the project templates location, which was specified in the registry. And then we will manually register the template by running VSTA setup and DEV ENV setup from the command line. First, open Visual Studio and create a new project based on the template that we created. For this tutorial, we're going to use Visual Basic. So we select the host ID from beneath Visual Basic and then the template that we just created with Project Gen. We now go to the project properties and add the post build event. For Visual Basic, you do this by selecting the Compile tab and then the Build Events button. For C Sharp, Build Events has its own tab, and that tab is available in VSTA. Unfortunately, the Build Events are not available for Visual Basic in VSTA. So we click on the Build Events tab to bring up the window, and we are adding a post build event. The post build event we are adding is the same that is included in the Shape App sample add-ins. So we just go ahead and copy that line and paste it into our build events. Now to take a look at the actual command we will be running, we will be using a file called install addin.js, which is also included with the Shape App sample add-ins. What that file does is it moves the assembly of the add-in to a predetermined location. In this case, moves it to my document and then the folder location specified here which is the host and then app add-ins. To use this for a different host, simply change the host ID here to match the folder in my documents that is associated with the host. Now we need to add the file that this command event uses. Again, this is included in the shape app sample add-ins. The file and the commands are also available online through Summit Software. Before we can export this project to a template, we do need to save it. And then we export it by selecting File and Export Template, which will bring up the Visual Studio template wizard. And we just want to stick to the defaults here, creating a project template. And this is the only project open, so it is the only one that we can select from. Now we specify a template name and description, neither of which are carried over uh, when the project is created from the template. You can also select a different icon here. We'll just stay with the defaults. This output location for the templates is a Visual Studio setting, and you can change that through Tools, Options, Projects, and Settings. It's very important that we do not register the template with Visual Studio here. That is because that would register the template as a Visual Studio template and it would not associate it with the host. So we go ahead and click Finish. And this is the template that we created through Visual Studio. And we are going to go ahead and move that to the project templates location specified in the registries. This was a Visual Basic template. So we're going to place it with the Visual Basic template that we created with Project Gen and then remove the original. Now we will manually register this template using VSTA setup and then DEV ENV setup. This will ensure that the project is registered correctly with both VSTA and Visual Studio under the host. Once the project is registered, we can go ahead and create a project based off of it in VSTA. So when we go to create a new project, we will see the updated template available under Visual Basic. 
as you can see the install add-in JS file is included and while we can't navigate to the build events from Visual Basic and VSTA be sure that uh, the assembly is moved we're going to add a little bit of code to show that the assembly has been found by the host we go ahead and build this and once the build is complete we can see that the post build event did in fact move it to my documents safe apps sarp app add-ins and here is the folder that contains the assembly and the assembly itself